Ransomware is a major threat that costs businesses, corporations, and infrastructure operators billions of dollars every year. Behind this threat are experienced ransomware organizations developing and distributing malware that make the attacks possible. By now, you know there are plenty of ransomware versions out there. With names such as Vice Society, Agenda, or Redeemer, these strains sound like they belong in hacker movies, right? So while newcomers may want to get a share of the cash, a handful of families have established their domination. Hello, it's Antonia from Heimdall, and in today's video, we are taking a quick look at the most dangerous ransomware groups disrupting the cybersecurity landscape. Here we go. Club Ransomware For the past three years, Club has been one of the most active ransomware families. It has gained notoriety for hacking into high-profile companies in many industries around the world, employing multi-level extortion tactics that led to huge payouts estimated at $500 million as of November 2021. The gang was detected in early 2019 and has since been linked to a number of high-profile incidents like the breach on XEQ Farm in the United States, as well as the data breach at Excellion, where hackers exploited flaws in the IT provider's software to steal data from dozens of its customers, including the University of Colorado. The Club Ransomware Group was the focus of a three-and-a-half-year global law enforcement operation operation known as Operation Cyclone. In November, we wrote that the Ukrainian law enforcement detained members of the Club Ransomware Group who were involved in ransom payment laundering. Conti Conti is another well-known ransomware group that has been making headlines since late 2018. It employs the double extortion strategy, which involves keeping back the decryption key and threatening to disclose private information if the ransom is not paid. What makes Conti different from other ransomware gangs is the lack of ethical limitations on its victims. The hacking group carried out multiple cyber attacks in the healthcare and education sectors, demanding millions of dollars in ransom. In February 2022, Conti targeted an international terminal operator that manages 24 seaports across Europe and Africa. All 24 ports were impacted by the cyber attack, which significantly disrupted business operations. In April, Conti had also infiltrated the Broward County Public Schools and asked for a $40 million ransom. After the district declined to pay the requested ransom, the gang published the stolen information on its website. More recently, following attacks launched by Conti on multiple government agencies, the president of Costa Rica was forced to declare a national emergency. DarkSide DarkSide is a ransomware program that operates as a ransomware-as-a-service group. It began attacking organizations worldwide in August 2020, and like other similar threats used in um, targeted cyber attacks, DarkSide not only encrypts the victim's data, but also exfiltrates it from the infected servers. In just nine months of operations, at least $90 million in Bitcoin ransom payments were made to DarkSide coming from 47 different wallets. The hacking group gained around $10 million from that profit attacking chemical distribution organization Brentag, which paid a $4.4 million ransom, and Colonial Pipeline, which also paid $5 million in cryptocurrency. Of course, are evil. Our evil ransomware first noticed in April 2019 and operating as a ransomware as a service model is famous for its attacks on two important organizations, GBS and Kaseya. Due to our evil ransomware group, GBS Foods, the biggest meatpacking enterprise worldwide, was forced to temporarily shut down its operations and had to pay an estimated $11 million in ransom to prevent hackers from leaking their data online. In July 2021, due to a Kaseya software vulnerability to SQL injection attacks, Arrival managed to encrypt Kaseya's servers. This resulted in a supply chain attack as its customers were infected. As it directly impacted over 1,500 businesses globally, the attack on Kaseya brought the gang some unwanted attention. At the beginning of 2022, following diplomatic pressure, Russian authorities captured multiple members of the organization and seized assets worth millions of 
of dollars. However, the disruption was just temporary and the rival ransomware gang has resumed operations starting April 2022. Lockbit. Lockbit ransomware, one of the most dangerous groups at this time, started operating back in September 2019. The group works as a ransomware as a service by recruiting threat actors to breach networks and encrypt devices. It attacks organizations in the US, um, China, India, and Europe. Lockbit launched the Lockbit 2.0 ransomware as a service back in June 2021 and 3.0 in June 2022. The new version includes new encryptors built on the Black Matter source code, new payment methods, new extortion techniques, and the first ransomware bug bounty program. We recently learned that the Lockbit ransomware operation took a severe blow after a developer has leaked online the builder of their newest ransomware encryptor. The encryptor, codenamed Lockbit Black, was officially released in June after being in tests for two months. Multiple security researchers confirmed that the builder is indeed legitimate. And of course, the list continues. If you are interested in discovering more ransomware strains and more details about them, make sure you check out Heimdall's blog and learn about their operating mode, significant attacks, and prevention measures. That being said, I'll see you next week when I will talk about the industries that are impacted by ransomware the most. Make sure you subscribe to get the notification.